Google Drive is for personal backing and restoring. The drive works with your Android device to back up all your data including photos, videos and contacts. Moreover, you get Google Photos app which again works with Google Drive to bring all the photos and videos from Google Drive to your phone. Google Drive offers 15 GB of storage which pretty much includes all the Google related services. But you can select Full HD in Google Photos app which gives you unlimited storage for your photos. It compresses the photos which you take but something's better than nothing. Dropbox on the other hand offers 2 GB storage and the app can be installed on desktop and mobile phones. Like Google Drive, the app offers a camera upload option which automatically uploads the photos and media to the cloud. But 2 GB is not enough if you take photos in high resolution. I have been using both for a long time. Let's take a look at the technical aspects of both. Regarding playing videos, I will go in the favor of Google Drive because the video player of Google Drive gets bit of the touch from YouTube video player which is fast and responsive all the time. Dropbox video player is also fast but initially when you play a video, the app selects a low quality for the video so the video can play smoothly. And if you upload 1080 pixel or 4K videos, the maximum quality you find in the video player is 720 pixels. Both can support so many file types including zip, PDF, Word, etc. But overall, Google Drive supports more file formats compared to Dropbox. Take a look at the table for supported files taken from the official websites. Both also support apps. On Google Drive, you can browse the apps by opening an unsupported file. On the screen, you will find suggested apps to open that file. There is another button to browse all the available apps on Google Drive. On Dropbox, you find the option after opening or previewing a file. For example, if you open a photo on the top right, you find an option connect to. Down there, you will find apps related to the opened file. If you want to upload very big files, then Google Drive is the ideal choice because the drive offers to upload maximum of 5 TB per file. Of course, if you have that storage available. Meanwhile, Dropbox supports 50 GB, which means the file must be 50 or less than that. Moving to platforms, both are available on mobile devices. Dropbox is also available on desktop PCs as well as Windows Phone. Google Drive is not available as an app to download, but the app can be downloaded as PWA, also called Progressive Web App. PWA takes less space compared to the actual desktop app and it uses browser to show the interface. To download Google Drive PWA on desktop, you can go to Google Drive website on Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. On the top right in the address bar, you will find an option called install this app. On Microsoft Edge, you can also go to the right side menu where you will find apps and under the apps, you will find an option install this app. Dropbox is also available as PWA, but the option is only available on Microsoft Edge. It is not available on Google Chrome. The final section is about pricing. Google Drive offers 100 gigabyte for $2 per month. If you want more, then there is another plan for $3 per month, which gives you 200 gigabyte of storage. 200 gigabyte is the perfect choice for developers and YouTubers like me. Dropbox contrarily comes with teams and business plans. The individual plus plan offers two terabyte of storage for $10 per month. You get access to smart sync, document scanning, and a lot more. The individual professional plan offers extended storage and extra benefits, and it of course costs a lot more than the personal plus plan. You can't choose the location for your data unless you have a business plan and there are at least 50 team members in your business plan. The business standard plan costs $12 per month on the annual plan and each user gets 5 terabyte of storage. Plus some team focused tools. Well, there are many other advantages of using both, but the features I mentioned are probably enough to find the ideal app for you. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope the video helped. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Until then, take care.